Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive. No time for BS. So let me ask you, boys, something. Do you like school? That's right, everyone. Stay in school. We've got the school bus here. This is the flat school bus, Bluebird version. Let's say Jackson County School District. That's interesting. But if there's one thing everyone loves about school buses is they explode real good when they're going off ramps and such. So there's some other stuff here, too. I went ahead and, oh, mother of God, I don't know what that was. I think we got caught somewhere inside of the ground. I went ahead and got the updated version of this map. Oh, there's so many glorious things to do now. I think it updated right around Christmas time. So there's quite a bit here, including, well, I guess you'll kind of see. There's steps, there's flippy dudes, there's all kinds of stuff. First things first, though. Do you boys have uh, seat belts on your bus when you were growing up? I sure didn't. Something like, see now, something like this right here. If you were involved in an incident such as this, I, I feel like people would be wanting to have seatbelts. A lot of cool stuff on this bus, though. I really like the attention to detail. And look, at it's almost like we're just barely skating above the ground. Now I think there's going to be a little bit of an impact, but I don't really feel like it's going to be too bad. Let's speed things up just a little bit. Oh, yeah. I love the flex this thing has, too. Look at when it hits the ground. How it just, like, it, like, bends ever so slightly. Like an eclair. Kind of twisting and turning in your hand. Fresh from the bakery. Filled with delicious, fattening cream substances. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. I'm going to love putting this thing through the paces. There's Car Jumperina back there, boys. Get your, uh, go ahead and rent your, your sign space right now. <laughs> Wow! Oh, cool! It's almost like getting an Indian burn. That's something I remember from school. You guys remember Indian burns? You had to prove that you were a man or a, a tough woman. I don't know. To get your Indian burn on. Nothing's on fire yet. The bus is looking a little flat. Not gonna lie. I don't know if now it appears to be like maybe like a more... Well, it was already flat from the front end. Oh, now the rear end is starting to catch on fire. I think that's where our fuel system was. Yeah, there's all the fuel in the back. Now, you guys ever have vehicles like this powered by propane? I figure I asked that because in my area we did have vehicles, uh, county vehicles powered by propane. I think that they had a couple of explosions and they probably got rid of that idea, but uh, I guess that was a thing. I don't know why. They thought it was safer or something. Who knows? Let's go ahead and beat the crap out of this thing some more. Whole slew of steps. Seems pretty legit. It's like the giant, uh, it's like meeting Gandhi or something up here. There it is, boys. The thousand steps of Tibet or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Looking good. A little bit of a shudder throughout the entirety of the body. But other than that, I think we're doing just fine. Let me tell you something. Stop sign is still on. Looking good. A couple of uh, windows have kind of broken out, but it's really not that bad. I think that we're going to do just fine. Now, the issue is is that I don't think that we're going to stay on the steps. Um, I can still control the vehicle a little bit, though, so that's not a big deal. Let's see if I can kind of move us along here. It's funny, you can hear the whine of the bus when you start to make it go in, in ways it's not really supposed to go. The suspension's getting to work out, I'll tell you that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I think that we've done it, boys. I think we've reached new goals. New goals with the bus. Let's go ahead and fast forward things up a little bit here. I'm going to keep it slowed down a little bit. But uh, bus driver right about here will be hanging on for dear life. Oh, crap. We're not going to make it. Oh, boy. Oh! <laughs> wow. Um, just kind of wedged ourselves into the side of the map there. And literally, the bus turned into something like a wedge. It just came right down. It's like trying to stuff a freaking, like a bunch of a hot dog inside of a bun or something like that. Um, you know what though? It still looks like it's pretty good. I don't think that we've destroyed this thing near enough. So here's the rollover area. I'm honestly not sure how well we're going to get this thing to roll over. There's just not a lot of space to get up a ton of speed. I'm going to try though. Let's see here. Right about eh, a little bit over more about here. Yeah, this should do okay. Looking pretty good as it comes off the ramp. Not gonna lie, only problem is the damn thing is so long, it's tough to get it to roll. Oh, that was a, that was terrible. That was not a roll at all. In fact, hold on, let me get on this side here. <laughs> Doing a little bit of a bounce there. 
like I said, the if this thing has any suspension to it, it is certainly getting a workout. That was a that was a good save by the school bus. Could not get it to flip. Not there anyway. Uh, you know what though? I think that there's another way that we can get this thing to flip. Hold on a second. I have an idea. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go do that right now. There, this has been a pretty cool map, but I have another idea here for just kind of making horrible things happen to the school bus. Yep. I think you boys knew it. It was only a matter of time before the bus met the ramp car, the GTA ramp car. We've got the bus coming on down here, the big, beautiful yellow bastard. Gonna be going head-to-head -head with the ramp car. I'm kind of curious what happens. Now, there's another bus here, too, called the Silver Bullet. We're gonna have to check that out. This is, like, the tuned version of the bus. It's got, like, a Cummings engine on it. But I think the Silver Bullet, it's got, like, nitrous oxide in it or something. I think it'll do a lot better. Takes a long time for the bus to get any speed, you know what I mean? Let's see what happens here, though. I'm really curious how well this thing can ramp, if at all. Let's take a look. Whoa. <laughs> um, all right. Well, doesn't ramp very good at all. I'll tell you what, though. Man, it can pack a punch on another vehicle. Holy crap. Maybe we'll have this thing do some head-on collisions or something. I really want to get it to ramp up in the air, though. It might be a little bit difficult with the, uh, look at the flames coming off everywhere. Maybe a little bit difficult with this flat-nosed bus, though. There is another bus without the flat nose. It hasn't been updated in a while. I don't know how well it works. I know there's a lot of optimization things with it. Maybe it's a lot better, though. Let me try, let me try the silver bullet real quick and see if that does anything. Here we go, man. Yeah, the, uh, the silver bullet is really fast. Oh my god, look at this thing go. I can't even keep up with it. Holy cow, hold on. Okay, yeah, I think we have a contender here. I wish it was lifted up a little bit, though. I have a feeling it would ramp a lot better. It's probably just going to absolutely cremate this thing. Oh, the horror of the damage about to unfold. Here it goes. Um, I don't know if I would call that a ramp. I would call that... Oh, it's flying. It's a third bolt. They've made it. They've made it into one unusual creature, and it is totally flying. That is really awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, so, yeah. Maybe the silver bullet is the way to go on just, like, normal ramps and stuff like that, because this is... The, the speed on this thing is absolutely grotesque. Let's put it head-to-head -head with some other cars, though, and just see what kind of damage we can get done when two bigger vehicles go up again. You know what? Screw it. Let's do two silver bullet buses up against one another. There we go. Yeah, these two beasts should do pretty damn good. Look at the speed. It, when it's moving at full speed, look at how insane these things are. I got dibs on the left one. I think it's going to make it out alive, man. I think that's the one that's going to win. Here we go. Oh, yes. Wow. The, the chrome of the, the appearance of the chrome of these things is just awesome. Look at that, they got about halfway inside of one another. Uh, but yeah, the two frames buried themselves halfway inside of each of, of each of the other buses. And they're both coming to like a dead stop from that hit. I think they're still mobile though. It looks like the, the engines are still running. They just can't move. Because look at this, they're trying to, it's like a tug of war. They're trying to pull away from one another. <laughs> but yeah, I think, look at this. I think the left one, um, eh. I was gonna say the left one looks like it's in better condition, but I really don't think it is. All right, let's try, let's try one of the silver bullets against one of the yellow buses. Okay, okay, you talked me into it. One more hit real quick. <laughs> I just wanna see if we can get a better. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's like a swirl. Look, it's like a whirlpool or something like that. Looks like, uh, hold on, let me, let me pull up here. It looks like the eye of a hurricane. That's what basically happened here. These two Goliaths coming into contact with one another have created the eye of the storm, the perfect storm. Yes, when two of the silver bullet blue bird freaking school buses collide, it creates a, a like some sort of downdraft and gigantic winds and powerful rains come upon us. That's really cool. All right, hold on. Okay, now we'll do the yellow on the uh, on the silver bullet. Now, I don't really think that the yellow bus is like stronger or anything per se, or that the silver bullet is stronger. I'm curious though, which one will win this? The silver bullet is just gonna have a way faster top speed, but I really don't know if it's gonna matter or not. Let's take a look here. 
get right up in the front here where these two will collide. Should come right about here. There we go. Yep. Right inside. It looks very similar. Very similar to the other crashes so far. They just kind of meld into one another because they don't hit perfectly. They hit kind of at an angle a little bit. But you can see the silver bullet pushed the yellow bus way the hell back. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring the, uh, the yellow bus and bring it over to the Plinko area. I'd like to see it bounce down and see if it can make it all the way down the Plinko. I don't think it can. I think it's going to get caught up in the bars. If you guys haven't seen the little Plinko obstacle in here, it's actually pretty damn cool. Hold on. Let's get up there real quick. So here's the bus heading toward the Plinko area. I'm not really sure. I kind of spawned it long ways. So I'm not really 100% sure what's going to happen. This thing is, uh, the velocity it's reaching is real though. Holy crap. I'm going to have to slow it down even further. All right, let's go ahead and turn the UI off. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's making it. It's doing pretty good. All right. A little bit of a shaving there. No big deal, though. I think it'll be just fine. It just kind of, it just kind of looks like God himself has come down with his great and powerful deific hands and like wrung its freaking neck. Look, it's still going though, guys. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. It's gonna get all the way down. Come on, baby. You can do it. Gray believes in you. There's the engine. Kind of cool seeing the fan spinning. <laughs> it's going though. I think it's gonna make it. Well, let me go ahead and speed things up a little bit faster. There we go. There we go. It's just like, oh, oh no. Oh, come on, man. It could have just used a little bit of help. Um, there, just kind of, come here. Just, you know, you just got to pull it. Yeah, we're just kind of uh, pulling pieces off. I really can't get it to move or nothing. Just kind of, all right, well, let's go try something else real quick. Yep, we're back to the, to the ultimate jump board here with the silver bullet for a reason. You guys probably knew it. I had to put this thing up against the bollards see what happens. So I was saying bollard inappropriately last time. I think I'm saying it right this time. Maybe I'll just call it barricades. I don't know. Either way, this should be a pretty damn good impact. Let's go ahead and really slow things down here. I've got them extended all the way up. They're at kind of a little bit of an angle. It's kind of weird. Just gonna catch the side there of the bus with the last one on the group. And oh, is it gonna like squeeze on by? Look at it, it's squeezing on by the other one. Oh, nope, it caught it. <laughs> I think it's gonna get past them through sheer power. Look, it did. It got past them. I mean, not without, you know, essentially completely destroying the bus, but it squeezed past. It's looking a little bit worse for wear gonna come into a, uh, a pretty pretty good drop pretty little bit belly flop right onto the ground here <laughs> a little bit of a tire there decided to uh, go spin it off on its own yeah it's on its own I was gonna say it almost looked like it was still connected all right that's not too bad all right bollards are right about at half mast right now let's see what this does to it oh we're flip-flopping all over the place hold on let me see if I can get straight I'm not gonna lie I tried to slow this thing down before it hit, but uh, I think we're going to speed up pretty fast for the initial impact. Here we go. Wow, yep. That was matrixy. Wow. It just bent this thing around into like a into like a a U almost. Now it's kind of straightening out. Did it rip the engine clear out of the vehicle? Uh no. Well, actually yes. I think it did. Yep. Sure did. Wow. All right, well, those, uh, they worked. If their job was to stop the bus from getting past, they did a fantastic job. Maybe we'll lower them even more and see what happens. Like, get them just barely to the point. Oh, yeah. Get them just barely to the point where they're just kissing the underside of the bus. Man, it, do it does make for some fantastic crashes, those damn things. I'll tell you what. This thing's probably gonna go into a death spiral too. Hold on, let's see here. The engine is almost keeping it like, like face up, so to speak. In fact, oh, it's not gonna spin at all. All right, good job, bus. All right, just gonna bring these down just a little bit more, just to the point where maybe the wheels and a little bit of the underside could catch it. That should be good. Here we go. Let's see how she does, man. If I can get it into a little bit of like, um. 
like a sideways spin. That might help too. I'm going full kilt here. Not slowing down at all. Screw it. Oh wow, this thing. Oh god. Oh yep, here we go. This looks good. There we go. We got it coming sideways, just like I like. Oh, I don't know. It might not even touch him. Well, this one here might catch the wheel, but that might not really be that bad. Let's see here. Um, ooh. Oh, it may be pulling on the frame a little bit. Oh, look at the frame starting to bend. Yes. But I think, nope. That last one there, look at that one shutter. Look at it shutter, wow. It did, once again. It just ripped the entirety of the engine completely out. That's really cool how it just barely manages to catch on that. But the rest of the bus pretty much, pretty much is able to like stay in one piece. Ooh, we're gonna get some end over end action? That's what I've been waiting for. A little bit of end over end action here. Wow, we are really flying. Oh yeah. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yes. We may even hit a sign. Nope. Missed the sign. All right. We didn't even get the end over end. We're going to get a long, long, long slide into right there, that little observation tower. But that's pretty much it. All right. Well, I think we've done enough to the old bluebirds at this point. It was a hell of a thing, though. Almost gonna land back on its wheel, maybe? Um, no. Oh, oh, okay, I was gonna say, maybe second time's the charm, but not at all. So this is what, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and speed back up to normal speed. So this is what we're left with. You guys can uh, buy this at auction. Starting bid is uh, 25 bucks. So uh, I'll take 350 for it. Yeah, 350. You, you, you can have, it's still, I still hear the engine moving. So I think if we go ahead, yep, right there. Works just fine. All right, we got two silver bullets. This is gonna be it. They're going up against one another on the sky ramp over here. This little like inverted, not inverted. It's just a very, very steep ramp that makes the two buses kiss. Not exactly sure how equidistant they are from the ramp. Eh, looks pretty damn good. Oh, this one's gonna get a little bit extra. Oh crap. Oh wow. Oh, we may have one landing on top of the other one. Oh, this is gonna end up being pretty cool. Oh, will it kiss it? Yes! Just a just barely kissing crash, and it launches that secondary bus way up into the air. Holy crap, these things went high. <laughs> There's the ground. They are, uh, they are really flipping doodling around there. Come on, baby. Where are you, how are you going to land for old Gray? Let's take a look here. We're going to speed things along just a little bit. And now we can slow it on down. Excellent. Yes, man, the reflection on that paint job is just absolutely spectacular. Oh, there comes the other bus. Coming down, just took a little bit, no big deal. Oh, backbreaker on top of the first bus. Good God, somebody call an ambulance. Because uh, I think right there, I think right there is the pin. There's the WWE pin. One, two, three, we have a winner. We have a winner. It's this guy. This guy right here is the winner of the buses. All right. So we got to play around with the buses a little bit. They're pretty fun objects to flip and destroy. I kind of like them. Anything else you'd like to see me do with these buses? Because there's a lot, and I love these buses. I want to beat the living crap out of these things and make them go everywhere. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of BeamNG. Until the next time, folks, Dave Foxy and much love. <laughs>